Hello, I thought I'd do a little video on the workshop heater, or a workshop heater. I made three of these at one go out of four um, butane cylinders, uh, maybe as long as 25 years ago. So they've been doing quite a lot of work. One for me, one for me dad. This is me dad's workshop. Ooh, full of nice, jolly nice machinery and stuff. And it's December, middle of December, just after Christmas, not quite coming to New Year. And it's about 11 degrees C outside and it's actually slightly warm in here at the moment. So this is quite efficient in heating a workshop space. None of the ones I made have been used in a domestic, i.e. A, a living area situation. But they're all made very simply. The idea was to keep it as simple as possible. You'll see a few of these if you search on tin to web and they all seem to be terribly elaborate. I didn't want elaborate, I wanted as simple as possible. Let's get rid of that. So, this is how I made it. I cut up one cylinder to make parts to actually uh, produce it. And then I used scrap um, bits that were lying around the workshop, mainly bits of motorcycle, because I've been rebuilding motorcycles for a long, long time. See on the front, go through the external features, well bolted down. This is a bit of checker plate made on the frame, which we dad build up. Holds it off the ground so you can't fall over it or anything. Holds it nice and steady. So the chimney, which is not flexible, doesn't move at all. So this is primary air. You can close it down or open it up. It's just welded onto the outside and you can see it's a dry sprocket from a motorcycle, probably a 175 or 250 Honda from the 70s. Had some wear on it, but not enough to uh, make a huge issue, but it was laying around. It's mounted on a bolt, welded on a bolt. And these two bolts here keep this little bit a little bit cooler and block up the little holes. There's a bit of main frame down tube which came from a Honda CB500T. It's sad, I remember all this after all these years. It's welded on, stuck up in the lathe, and turned. Window hinges, window catch. And on the top, you can see the original valve hole has been welded up. And on the back, you can see there is a mating collar which uh, is welded on and then it's set in with fire clay so you can remove it although after 25 years or so I don't know how that easy that would be it makes it up to this which is road sign posts from dead road signs we came out the skip where I used to work and if we look inside oh hot have to use fairly small pieces of timber obviously because it's fairly small but it'll stay in as long as there's uh, wood in there it won't stay in overnight or anything look under here you might just be able to make out in amongst all the uh, the ash there's a brake disc from a 400 Suzuki again from the 80s which was worn out and in the middle I won't poke about too much there's another drive sprocket which is bolted in and then in the sides you can't see, but the brake disc sits on some sections of this on the top, which are welded onto the inside of the, uh, the dreaded uh, butane cylinder to actually hold the thing in place. And it works very well. Look at it from the top, the fit is pretty close. You get a little bit of secondary air around the outsides. But if you look on the inside, this is heat damage rather than escaping smoke or whatever or gases everything seems to go up the chimney quite well because the fit is fairly tight see on the inside this strengthening rib or where the thing has been attached together because it's made in two parts has been ground away and here lump of metal out the scrap bin welded on for the uh, window catch mate mate too thank you very much all oh, this this is a disc from uh, an HP Viva, about 1966. Gone a bit rusty, and that's basically very nice to put a little kettle on. 
and if you get it running nicely in the cold in the winter you can have your soup on there or, or whatever you want works very well and that's a refractory brick which keep up there so if you need it to uh, do heat treatment or whatever on you don't get the embarrassment of the thing falling apart more than this if it's damp as you heat it thank you very much hope that was interesting <laughs>